Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get done so I can enjoy my Halloween and go see my horse. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna share screen. This is day three and we are going to, let me go over here, pull this up. We're going to do a little wet on wet, but we're going to do alcohol, rubbing alcohol and something called scrofito. Okay, so you need a straw, which we have in class. You'll need, you're gonna do, remember your goal is four strips a day. Uh, find the smooth side and put your name on it. I'm gonna keep repeating things because I think it's important. I'm like, where is the smooth side? There we go. Smooth side, do I have the smooth side? Yes. Okay, and get your name on there. Miss Leslie 10, 31, 21. Miss Leslie 10, 31, 21. You're gonna see this so much, you're gonna go, Miss Leslie, I know. Good, I'm glad you know. I've got my paint set. I've got my two things of water. I went ahead and cleaned this out. Again, don't overfill these, that's important. Okay, um, so with alcohol technique, you're gonna be super careful. I don't have enough for every single table group of these, so you are going to have to share. Um, maybe you'll be doing scrofito while somebody's doing alcohol, and then you will pass that on to someone else. You guys will have to share. That's just the way it is. I may demo all of the techniques on Monday so that throughout the week, um, we can pass those around, but we'll just make do with what we have. Um, if you, if your family has any of these small containers with a, a lid that um, is really good, hey, you could bring them to school and we'd have more containers. I need like three more containers. They were originally made with glass Gerber baby food jars and that doesn't work well because they get broken. Glass isn't good around kids. Okay, so I'm in, I'm going to be using my alcohol with a straw. And you remember, uh, you guys are kids, but remember if you hold the end of the straw, then it holds some alcohol in here, okay? You won't want to drop that entire thing on your paper, but that's how we're going to get the alcohol. Do not dip your brushes in the alcohol. It dries out the brush. It's really bad for the brushes and it ruins the glue that holds the brush bristles in the paintbrush. So do not um, put your brushes in the alcohol. Okay, so let's see. Let's make some paint first. I want to make some paint. Got some plain water here. Haven't dirtied my brushes. I'm gonna make some orange. Sure I am, I should have got my water, put my water in here first and then got my paint in there. Remember, don't let your water sit in those little paint pots because they'll get all gooey and gross and then you won't wanna use them. And I will say this, if you run out of a color, let me know. Um, do not ever throw the strip away. We have paint, little paint pots, separate ones of the, each color. So if you run out of something, you just let me know and we replace it. I want more orange, more orange, more orange. Give me more orange and get all the water out of that little paint pot. Okay, so I'm gonna move one of these aside. Now, let's see if I can get get my technique going on while I'm on camera. It never fails when I do this on camera. It never turns out as cool as I get uh, when I'm just painting on my own or when I'm in the classroom. So I guess that's a lesson to all of us to be kind to ourselves. And if it doesn't work the first time, that's why you're gonna do four of them and you're gonna do, uh, do some more, play with it. So this has to be wet for the alcohol technique to show up. I'm gonna clean off my brush real quick, set it down. Now remember, you're holding the end of the straw, but I don't wanna let it go. I'm just going to, whoa, it let go itself. I'm just gonna add some drips. Can you see what it's doing? And I'm not letting go of the straw because otherwise it comes out in a big lot. And you can go like this. And you can make designs. Again, this is really cool when it dries. And while you're doing this, shoot, it, you could go get the salt and you could do uh, a couple techniques to one, right? Maybe I wanna do the salt over here on the edge. 
where it's nice and wet. Give me some, look at that already looks like a rose, right? I start seeing little faces. That looks like a little face, two eyes, uh, question marks. I start seeing all kinds of cool stuff when I work with the alcohol. I love the alcohol technique. It's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna stick with a little salt. Um, I'm gonna set my salt here. Okay, I'm gonna go on to another one. Try to do these quickly for you guys. Okay, um, let's get another strip. So this is this the one I put my name on? No, where's the one I put my name on? Love doing demos because, and trying to go quick and being live on camera. Okay, rinse that brush really good. I'm using the different one this time. Get me some water. I love blue. Let's get some blue. I want plain blue in here. So the water in here first. Get me some blue. Woo! That's a really nice blue. Look at all the pigment in that. Again, you don't have to do your strip with all one color. Play with colors, mix colors, see what you get. If you don't like it, go rinse out your container. Don't forget, if, as long as you didn't leave a bunch of water in the little paint pot area, you can rinse that really easily. Okay. Oh, as I fling the brush on the floor. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna grab some purple here too. Yep, I like to make sound effects. Clean this out really quick. Never leave your brushes standing in water. Okay, again, I'm gonna put my finger on the end of that and try not to let it go. And just get some, whoa, see, it just did it on its own. Remember, if the paint is dry, you won't get the fun effect. You won't even see it if the paint is dry. Wow, there's some weird noise going on out there. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. I think my finger wasn't over the hole good. This one is not, oh, it's even off screen. That's horrible. It didn't give me the effect that I want. Guess what? Be kind to yourself, move on, do another one. Okay, I don't have my name on this one. I know we get in a hurry and we don't do our name. Do your name. That's why I'm gonna take the time to do my name. Sorry that my demos aren't turning out very good. Uh, 31, 21. Be kind to yourself, you guys. Sometimes they work and sometimes they, we, we wish they turned out better. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more water in here. I'm gonna do my purple. So hopefully, uh-oh. I just went into black. Uh oh, too late now. Too late now. Let's get some more pigment. And hopefully that's nice and wet. Okay, I'm gonna go like this right in the middle. And then I'm gonna rinse that brush, set it to the side, and let's see what kind of effect I can get here. It just keeps dumping out. Love this effect. Love it on that with that, with that black. Look, make some mistakes. Give me your best, best creations. What do we say if you make a mistake? It's part of the art. Yes. So glad that you remember. Be kind to yourself. Remember, this is all experimentation. If you get to take art with me next year, we make some pictures and we do stuff. If we have time, because um, we're going to do it this week, and into next week for the weaving. And then you guys have a three day weekend, I believe. Um, so if we have time, uh, we'll talk about making pictures and I'll have some bigger paper. But our goal is to get, um, I think 12 to 16 strips made. So four a day is 16, so that you can do a woven mat with your, with your, watercolors and yeah I just love I love that I love that whoops I almost put alcohol in my water what a fun technique I really like that on black okay you guys I'm gonna go so I can make this short and we'll move on and I didn't do scraffito darn it darn I didn't do scraffito let's do it let's do it for those of you at home okay 
found the smooth side, write your name. And 10, 31, 21. Okay, scraffito, everybody has access to a paper clip and a scraffito just means scratching, okay? You can scratch a design in it, like a Zentangle, you can write your name in it, you could draw flowers, you get to decide. Um, I'm gonna just scratch, I'm just scratching you guys and I'm doing some zigzags, little uneven zigzags, 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 zigzags. What did I can't talk, maybe like a mountain up here sure okay and maybe a sun here with some little rays i'm just scratching okay and um, um i'm doing some funky clouds they're not going to turn out that great because i'm scratching and when you're scratching, it never, um, it's really hard to manipulate. So have some patience and kindness for yourself. And we're just gonna see how this turns out. Okay, scratch the paper and um, I'm gonna do a blue scene, maybe some green at the bottom and then blue in the sky and see what happens, I don't know. I'm I'm just winging it, you guys. Got you on camera. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. Let's see, I've got yellow here. And again, I don't want it sitting in the paint pot. And it won't show up a lot here, but I'm gonna kinda add colors. Clean this out, clean this out. Get some orange. Again, don't let your water sit in. A little paint pot. And you can see with the scraffito effect, well, it doesn't look as nice on the camera, but the scratch paper really sucks up the pigment. Okay, and I wanted this green. Of course, there's a little blue in that green right there. More green, come on, green. Now I'm going to go against along the bottom. And then I'm going to do a blue sky down here on the end. Just playing around, seeing what it does. What does it do? Oh, my, my mountains turned out good. That cloud's okay. Okay, the scraffito is cool because it, it grabs the paint. So it's just a scratch technique. And I think it's pretty cool. And you can play around with it. Again, you could combine the salt with this, some alcohol with this. Note to self, the alcohol and the salt need wet. If it's not wet enough, you don't get um, a very good effect. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Don't forget to clean your brushes. Don't forget no water in the paint pots.